Why digital and in-person engagement are the key to success in business development? Our new guest will explain the importance of being service first. Somania is an Afro-Anglo corporate creative who reflects her multi-passion work and life experience, particularly through her business development role at Alchemy Telco. She has worked with international organizations such as the Female Lawyer Association Gambia, EU, the British Council, Japanese and American embassies. Hi, everyone. Our new guest is Soma, who works as a business development manager at Alchemy Telco. Thank you very much for coming, Soma. We're so excited to have you here. Oh, thank you so much for, for having us. Um, it's, 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 it's exciting to be here. <laughs> Absolutely. Considering your vast experience in business development management, what would you recommend as key success metrics which help you to drive forward the team? From the experiences that we've had in over business, it's great to have sort of a typical marketing uh, metrics, things like having a, a good number of followers. But most important, I think it's engagement, both digitally and in person. Because I found that even though uh, we're a digital company, uh, a CPAS company, and it is our kind of um, bread and butter, the personal conversations that we have and using those digital methods to keep up with, like yourselves, we linked up on, on LinkedIn. You know, we, we do most of our regular contact by engaging conversationally rather than those sort of vanishing metrics that are great to see, but um, don't really move the needle, should we say. So it's great to have a like, but great to have a comment that really puts you into the room with someone. Could you please tell in more details how you drive this engagement and what helps you to do that absolutely um it is labor intensive i wish that there was a magic wand that oh. we could say and say wave this and shazam your customers will turn in you know your your, your um audience will turn into um into clients um it has been a slow burn uh we've been in business for i think now uh seven years um, and we're only just starting to see the huge relevance of what we do. And we're really starting to convert people that we started, you know, to having conversations uh, with uh, quite a few years ago. Like uh, we have an in-joke in the office between myself and Kim when we're sitting there. And it's kind of like, OK, just booked a client. Brilliant, brilliant. They, they've either come in for a meeting or they signed up. Uh, and it's like um, I'll, I'll kind of give her a wink and say, so when did you start talking to them? years <laughs> ago, that's good. But um, we found that that's the best way. These are our most loyal clients. These the ones who um, you can have that conversation with where you can find out what their needs are and be the difference. It's great to be of service as well as to have a paying client. But we found that being of service first really sets you up to build a business model that's fair. Uh, working here in Africa means that quite often our price mark is less than uh, we would hope on, on, the, on, on the side of salaries on our side. But it really gives us a sense of fulfillment to know that we're pushing the needle not just for ourselves, uh, but for the businesses and, of course, their beneficiaries. Do you have any significant, I uh, definitely think that you do have with your level of energy, do you have any astonishing stories from your career where these principles and this idea work really well? Gosh, it's kind of a daily occurrence because this is what we, you know, this is what we do. Um, it's those small conversations. You might meet someone or meet them online or mm -hmm. send an SMS to someone and have them forward it to someone else and that person come back. So I think um, if you look at Alchemy's kind of evolution, uh, Kim uh, started off selling ground nuts, um, which is so different to selling SMS and IVR solutions and CPAS solutions. Uh, but what she found is she wanted to be the company that was missing in her value chain. So that's kind of given us a real kind of flipping the business model a little bit it means that we do have to spend a lot of time digging in to the financial side and making sure that the numbers make sense or saying okay guys we need to add 500 times the number of whatever that we're selling to be you know to meet our, our targets this month but um it means that we're really 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 focused on being value because it, it comes back to why were we here why did we start the business in the first place it's, it's less about us and more about making an impact and the knowledge i think over the years that we found the more service that you put out it makes it, the journey much more difficult but it means it puts you in such a fantastic place business-wise further down the line it's about sort of playing the slow burn game making sure you really know your client, really asking them what their needs are. I mean, we've had some really awkward things where I've been like, okay, so tell me, what do you do? Well, you tell me what you're selling. And it's kind of like, you know, it's sort of conversation where we just want to see how we'd like to help, but you tell me. Um, and it's, 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 it's brilliant when you kind of get someone to trust you enough to let you in, you know, 
to to their business and to carry on that conversation in increments when we see something interesting for example kim's brilliant at that and malik you know we'll send emails and be like this would be perfect for this person it's nothing to do with us but i think it's it's going to be something that's going to be a service and i think that's that's probably the thing that i've learned you can learn a lot of businessy stuff but there's nothing more important than relationships when it comes to building a solid long-standing business that sounds fascinating in our next episode someone will share her experience working with african markets 